Hi, welcome to Green Shift Business Line. I am M. Ramesh. In the video of last week, I spoke about one industry which had been struggling for a long time but has suddenly picked up in recent years, the biomass industry. In this video, we are going to take a close look at another such industry segment, rooftop solar segment, which had again been not going anywhere for many, many years. But in the re very recent years, it seems to have taken off very well and holding a lot of promise. Please do watch this video. Around 2015-2016, the government of India came up with targets for renewable energy to be achieved by the year 2022. The target for rooftop solar was 40 gigawatts. 40,000 megawatts. By 2019, with just three years to go to meet the target, guess what the achievement was? 1.9 gigawatt. 1.9 against 40. That is where we were in 2019. And then the pandemic hit. Nothing moved. But after that, rooftop solar seems to have taken off, doing very well now. Here are some telling data points. Between March 2021 and March 2023, India added 4.4 gigawatts in just two years, as opposed to 1.9 in all the previous years. To see this in perspective, compare the two years performance with 1.9 gigawatt between 2015 and 2019. In the current year alone, that is 2023-24, India is on a trajectory to add 4 gigawatts or roughly the same capacity as in the previous two years. One can be confident of India achieving this 4 gigawatts this year because in just the first four months of this financial year, April, May, June and July, India added 2 gigawatts. Another 2 gigawatts in the next 8 months is not going to be a big deal. So, rooftop solar, a sub-segment of an industry, is booming. Why? What's happening? What happened all of a sudden for this industry to take off? This new trend is really due to a combination of several factors. Somehow, many things seem to have come together at the same time. In a recent study conducted by the Institute for Energy, Economics and Financial Analysis, IEEFA. They delve deep into what is happening in the rooftop solar segment in India. From that report, a number of interesting points emerge. The first point is this. The market of creditworthy CNI customers, that is commercial and industrial customers, large companies, shopping malls, you know, and industries, factories, all these people to whom solar companies could put up large plants somewhere and supply the power to these companies. This CNI market, it's a very fairly lucrative market which gets the solar companies good revenue. This market is kind of getting saturated. So all these solar companies are now looking at other options. Which are the other options? Rooftop solar. That is one reason. At the same time as this market of CNI customers is getting saturated and solar companies are looking at other pastures. The financiers have also seen the track record of rooftop solar and they are also getting more and more confident. Supposing their loan had to be repaid over the next seven years or eight years, what is the guarantee then that this plant will exist? What is the guarantee that the roof itself will be sold after someone else? So many imponderables, uh, uncertainties around that. And the financiers were not confident. So that was really one of the reasons why the segment itself was not taking off. But now, over the past about five, six, seven years, the financiers have seen uh, the performance of this sector and this sub segment, and they are now getting more and more confident. The IEEFA report that I referred to a little bit earlier notes that in 2021, there were just 
three financiers for this segment. And today, there are nine. So, the second reason why this is taking off is the comfort level of the financiers, financing companies for giving lending money to rooftop solar. The third reason is with availability of finance, one segment that was kind of raring to go, planning to get in, put up rooftop solar plants and was not getting money for that, is now opening up. Which is the segment? This MSME segment, micro, small and medium enterprises. The IEEFA report says that MSME segment has the potential to absorb about 15 gigawatts, about close to 40% of the 40 gigawatts target of the government. So this is a very vibrant segment and they are now coming forward to put up rooftop solar plant. At the same time, all these are happening. The state governments, basically the state governments that own the utilities or the DISCOMs, their approach to rooftop solar is also somewhat changing. Earlier, they were completely against it, dead against rooftop solar because they feared, and perhaps rightly, that if people put up rooftop solar plants on the roofs and produce their own power, then they will no longer buy from the utility. So the loss of customers, loss of good paying customers was a very real fear and this comes as it is in the best of times they were not doing very well and this was a real apprehension but now many states are slowly changing their approach earlier they used to have this net metering system supposing you are a factory and you put up a one megawatt rooftop plant and then on holidays uh, you might generate surplus energy what do you do with the surplus energy you have to put it back into the grid. You sell it back to the discoms from whom you are buying power. Earlier, there was a system of net off. That is, the discoms deducted the energy supplied by the rooftop plants from the total consumption of energy that the rooftop plant owner, the electricity that the rooftop owner was taking from the discom. Which means, basically, under this net metering system, the rooftop solar plant owner was selling to the discom electricity, any surplus electricity at the same tariff as he was buying electricity from them. Suppose he was buying electricity was at say at 9 rupees. So when he put electricity back into the grid from his rooftop solar plant, he was also selling it, pricing it at 9 rupees. Now this did not pan out well, this did not work out well for discoms because they were also already financially not so good and uh, they are having to buy solar power at that high rate in pan out. So they are now shifting from net metering to what is called net billing. That is for the electricity that they supply to the rooftop plant solar company, let us say a factory, it would be at one tariff, let us say 9 rupees. And for the surplus electricity that the rooftop solar plant would sell back to the grid would be priced much lower, maybe 2 rupees or 2.5 rupees. This kind of worked for them. This was of course not so good for the rooftop plant owner, but at least it let rooftop plants be set up. The discoms would then no longer stop this because it was not a bad proposition for them. The IEEFA report mentions Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh, West Bengal and Maharashtra as states that are now doing this net billing instead of net metering. So that seems to be a very big factor in rooftop segments taking off. The plans are now happening. Another reason is that today under this so-called OPEX model, what is OPEX model? Supposing you have a roof and you are a factory, you have a large roof. I am a solar company. I come and put up a plant on your roof at my cost. I own the plant, but I supply that electricity to you at a tariff that is agreed between us, which is typically lesser than what you would be buying from the discom. Under this OPEX model, you will get to buy solar at about 
anywhere between 4 rupees and 5 rupees. And if it is a capex model, that is you put up your own solar plant, you own the plant, you put up the solar plant with your money and you own the plant and then you produce electricity, generate electricity and consume it yourself, the cost will probably work out to about 5.5 rupees. In any case, you know, rarely goes beyond 6 rupees at today's prices. And this is a very good proposition, particularly for MSMEs who pay, obviously pay much more for the electricity they buy from the grid. So with economics working out favorably and discoms no longer so serious about stopping this or slowing this down, with financiers getting more and more comfortable, with the solar companies now looking at rooftop segment as an alternative to the CNI market, things are working out in favor of rooftop solar plants. Also, rooftop solar in terms of returns, it's a good proposition. I spoke to Mr. Pashupati Gopalan, CEO of Finnish Energy, which is a company that puts up rooftop solar plants. And I asked him about the economics of these plants. Here is what he had to say. Ramesh, uh, rooftop solar is very critical for the country, partly because in rooftop solar, you don't need to make any further investments to transmission and distribution infrastructure because it's consumed, the power is mostly consumed where it gets generated. And because of distributed nature of the power generation, it ends up having an effect of strengthening the distribution grid as well. Now, from a customer perspective, the prices of rooftop solar are such that today, for a residential customer or even a commercial customer, in most states of India, they can make payback of about three years. But if you want to look at return on equity, it can be upwards of 20-30% on an unlevered basis. Or if they borrow and get a loan from State Bank of India or Punjab National Bank or other banks that have received support from World Bank and ADB, those loans will result in return on equity up to 80 to 100%. So our assertion is there is no other investment in the country which is better than making a rooftop solar investment for every single homeowner, which is an independent homeowner that has a terrace and they have enough consumption that they can offset, as well as for a commercial and an industrial building where they have enough roof space or terrace space that they can use for setting up a distributed plot. Well, there you are. You heard from the expert. There are still a lot of hurdles. For example, solar module availability is sometimes a problem. Prices of solar modules are sometimes a problem, particularly as the government has brought in this 40% basic customs duty on uh, imported solar modules. It's jacked up the prices. And then there is this new thing called ALMM, this approved list of models and manufacturers. You know, the government has to approve which models can be sold, which manufacturers can sell. But then the effect of this ALMM is to kind of restrict the availability of solar modules sometimes. And not all states are particularly encouraging of rooftop solar still. There's still some way to go in terms of uh, regulations and so on. Things are not perfect, but things are much, much better. And adding to all these things, the market is seeing the advent of new products. One is called virtual net metering. Another is peer-to-peer -peer trading. These are innovative products for sale of rooftop solar energy. What these products are is the subject matter of another video. But for now, the big message is rooftop solar segment in India is booming.